Now, this is going to be a very cool pro tip that you can use in your own projects, whether at home or on the job, building professionally. I'll tell you how it came about. I was walking through a competitor's construction site in Vail, Colorado, and I was admiring the careful workmanship and the overall neatness of the job. I was thinking, this is one good builder, but I kept noticing on the floor throughout the house, kind of like hieroglyphic symbols painted onto the floor, boxes and circles and numbers. When I looked up on the wall, just as I suspected, those pictograms represented outlets, ceiling cans, and other rough-in elements that that often end up buried behind drywall. This guy's a genius, I thought. I bet I can get some of those stencils from my own. So when I got home, I Googled it. I looked for electrical symbol stencils. Nothing came up. I searched for drywall stencils. I had found nothing. So I finally called the builder who said, no, that's something my drywaller does. And I went back to the job the next day and they were still hanging. So I had the chance to meet with Lazaro, the genius behind this drywall stencil method. And here's my little conversation with him. I think you'll enjoy it. Contame in English, explain to me in English what, what, what you did. Uh, tell me a little bit. You said this piece of cut and I just cut it a few areas. Yeah, just cut it, yeah. How did, how did you get the idea? I don't know, you just, you just have to mark it. Frustrado por perder las cosas, frustrated by losing stuff and having to dig yeah, it out. Know, yeah. Yeah. And I can mark it because the floor will be still the way it is right Yeah, now. yeah. And that's the only place we lose a box. So where you couldn't mark the floor, that's the only place you lost a box. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> By using this stenciling technique, Lazaro never loses an electrical box in the wall or a can light in the ceiling, except, of course, in the garage, where the floor remains exposed and he cannot stencil on the concrete.